We've got Daniel with a question for Wendy. Hi, Daddy Andy. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? Been a fan for Hi. many years. Did Kevin have any input on your upcoming biotech? If not, do you think he'll be happy with it, or do you honestly not even care? Um, I don't care what he thinks about it. No, he had no input on it because it's my life and my truth. I did invite him to participate in the documentary where he could have said whatever he wanted to say, just yes. like Andy did and just like my bosses did and just like Joy Behar yes, did and just like Charlamagne yes. did. He elected not to return Lifetime calls. I finally called him up and I said, Kev, you know, Lifetime is calling you at my advisement. I want you to say what you want to say and, and speak your version of the truth regarding the uh, documentary. And uh, by the way, he rejected both things. He did not want to be part of the documentary. He didn't want to be part of the movie. He should have done uh, the he... documentary because you would have had his, that was, a, that was a bad move. And I got to say, I, I was interviewed for that doc and they never, they didn't tell me what to say, they didn't, they let me say whatever I thought. They're like, this is your opinion. And you wanna know what? And they included all of that. Thank you for participating in it. Just like they included the opinions of everybody else. Um, but Kevin never thought that I would be able to survive business-wise without him. You see, that Lifetime, I, it's more than just my documentary. I've got like a situation, a production deal with Lifetime. And they had approached me uh, via Kevin, my management, uh, several times. And Kevin just ended up saying, F them bees. We don't want to be involved. Well, Wendy, you know? Wendy uh, I might remind you that you and I were supposed to do a show together at Lifetime with you hosting and me producing that and he killed. Happened? He killed it. And it would probably still be on the air and we both would have made a lot of money off it. But do, do you want to know what, everybody? Andy is telling the truth. Me, Andy, and Kevin sat in Andy's junkie <laughs> office and Andy told us as much about him junkie as he knew office. about me. And, and uh, take that in a good way, this place is a mess. Um, but but Kevin, Kevin was my biggest cheerleader to a fault. Kevin felt as though I should be treated with nothing but the best. And that's how, you know what? Because I'm not a Kevin is why I'm able to pay him to keep his new family together in a little, you know, you know I, I don't know whether he's employed or not, I, you know?